Thanks for joining us. It's been 24 hours, but the Twins and the fans are still on a high after sweeping the Blue Jays to head to the divisional series. And when they come back home to play on Tuesday for game three, it will cap off a week full of big games. Saturday, the Gophers play at home against Michigan, and the Vikings take on the Chiefs at home on Sunday. A sports trifecta that downtown Minneapolis businesses are banking on. Sammy Selena is live in Minneapolis with that story for us tonight. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Julie and Randy. So these downtown businesses, they're very excited for these big games ahead because they rely on them for their survival. There's a storm of brood and it's Let's called go. the Twins. A big game brings a big crowd downtown. We're closed today, sorry. But businesses say they live and die by those big events. You know, there are no events going on around us uh, today. Dermot Cowley owns O'Donovan's. We were open 365 days a year until 2 a.m and we never closed early. He says that was before the pandemic. We're closed today, sorry. He's closed today because now some days aren't worth it. One beer in four hours and uh, so it, it costs more to turn on the lights. His hours depend on what's on the downtown calendar. It's almost like we're operating as an event center right now. But when those days come, the cash comes too. No twins playoff. We might do three to 4,000. A day like yesterday is a $20,000 day. Down the street at Kieran's. The last two days have been wild. I mean, there were so many people in here that were watching the game, and to hear them scream it was amazing. General Manager Danny Routon says those big downtown days make a big difference for them, too. It makes it worth pushing through those really painful days. She says she's looking forward to the next week. But a shot at a championship could be what brings the crowds back for good. It would be an, ex it would be an explosion of like just business and influx of people coming to the city, you, it, which every single one of us need. Finally, finally. For now, they'll hope for more of those oh, no! big opportunities. I mean, it's really, truly what drives us. So clearly they rely on those concerts, those games, but they say it's not a long term sustainable solution, although they do say that they've seen a lot of improvement in the past year. We'll take it back to you. All right. Thank you, Sammy.